I would do to holistically fight cancer. The first thing is when you get told you got cancer, the first thing that went through my brain, I panicked. You see, I didn't know that that cancer could be seven years old. I didn't know that um, it's not like it happened last week and you're going to die next week. Uh, of course, the sooner you start attacking it, the better. So this is what I would do. I would encourage you to, uh, to do the following. And let me give you a story. Uh, one of my friends phoned me, he's a friend now, I got this call and said, Hey Louis, my PSA is 80, 86. I said, all right, that's terrible. He said, yes, he knows, the doctor said that as well. I said, what does the medical industry want to do? Well, of course, they want to throw the whole book at him, the chemo, the radiation, operate, everything like that. I said, okay, just relax. That cancer is about seven years old. This is what I'm going to encourage you to do. I want to encourage you to speak to your oncologist and say, can you give me 90 days? 90 days of being a fanatic, 90 days of cutting out GMOs, 90 days of vegetable juice, 90 days of taking toxins out of my life, 90 days of detoxing my body, 90 days of intermittent fasting, 90 days of drinking good quality water. I said, just ask your oncologist for 90 days. And I get on and, and follow me for 90 days. And let's see what happens. He spoke to oncologists. They said, no problem. You can have 90 days to fight your cancer holistically. Well, guess what? In, six, in 30 days, his cancer had already dropped like crazy. It was down to about uh, 16 or something like that. His PSA, he was really excited, but they still wanted to go through the whole process because they're still above three. Well, his, his PSA today, many, many years later, is, is below two. Now, how incredible is that? How incredible is that? So I'm going to ask you not to stress. Because let me tell you what happens. The minute you stress, you're like, oh, Lord, my life is going to is finished. That's what happened to me. I thought, this is the end of my life. Because, you know, when you get told you got cancer and they sent you home, they say, we've tried chemo, we've tried radiation, we've tried everything. They're sending me home to die. Guess what? i got two, I got little kids at home. I wanted to see them grow up, only be married a few years. I, and I thought I was in front of a firing squad. I thought that it was like, ready, aim, 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 shoot now. And I want you to understand something. It's a terrifying situation. Now, what happens when you're stressed? Your anxiety goes up. Guess what happens? Your body goes acid. Now you can't fight the cancer. So you want to understand something. If you're fighting cancer, you want your body alkaline. You want to relax. You want to understand this cancer happened years ago. It didn't happen to, uh, today. And just be, just chill out. Just have some fun. Just relax. I know it's easy to say, hard to do, but you don't want to get your body into an acid environment. You want your body to be able to fight that cancer without the stress and anxiety. I like, share, and follow.